Hi besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about SAS. Semi-annual sale aka SAS is starting on June 14th which is three weeks from now. That's crazy because it's gonna go by super quick I promise you guys. If you are new to Bath & Body Works they do a semi-annual sale twice a year which where they mark down their seasonal collections for the low low for 50% off to 75% off and we're trying to get everything that's like 75% off. So in a couple of weeks I will be doing semi-annual sale tips and tricks because you guys no joke I went to semi-annual sale every single day in the winter time because it was my first time and I also had like winter break when I was in grad school I had nothing better to do other than you know just go shopping so I do have a couple of tricks in the back of my head and I feel like there's some that like not many people say but anyway in regards let's go ahead hop on to the Catherine train we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works right now scope out the place let's see what is in there okay let's go don't critique too hard on my camera because there was a security guard and they were eyeing me super hard. This is not illegal footage, but this is footage where I had to stop so I wasn't able to show you guys all the footage. But anyways, let's go ahead and go into the store right now. All right, besties. So this is the new summer collection that they just released, of course. If you haven't heard about it, here are just, this is just a little overview, okay? That's Sunkissed and that's Midnight Swim. And here are the, like, the little scent notes for them, little pause reaction. And at my store, they have the Fine Fragrance Mist Tester and also the Lotion Pump Tester. I know in some states, they're not allowed to like let you smell or anything. So you're probably gonna have to like blind buy it. Here's Berry Waffle Cone, pause that if you need to. I I honestly want the pump like I want it just so I could use it for my daily life I probably should ask but there's some sea salt lavender grapefruit rosé let me know if you like grapefruit rosé I wish I liked grapefruit enough to like it but I feel like I would get sick of it it kind of gives me raspberry tangerine vibes but like in a grapefruit sort of way berry waffle coat has some minis this watermelon scrub mm hmm watermelon sugar you know high and <laughs> anyway we there's some pocket bags there's so many more pocket bags in my store i'll show you guys in a little bit but this is the sunshine mimosa one and this is the stand for it they're still you know endorsing her promoting her that's the word right there i'm trying to talk about and i like the scent but like not enough to like buy everything in it i don't know i'm still like wondering but here's the musky collection aka the men's collection i just call it the musky collection just for people who are not identify as men like can like like it too because there's a lot of like people who love the musky collection so this is legend that's new and it smells so good you guys let me tell you it's refreshing it's so different than the other scents from this collection amazing champion is really good too i would say that's like my second favorite and hero reminds me of like a polo ralph lauren type of cologne that my brother my dad uses it's like a knockoff thing of that so if you like polo scents you're going to definitely like hero and the freshwater packaging so beautiful and the soap the bar soap um let me tell you if for it i like it a lot it's like gold it's like metallic really bougie looking here are some hand soaps out i know that um a lot of you guys like seeing the soap holders this was the only one that was like summery that i could find but berry waffle cone and soap i kind of need to participate in a soap sale soon so please let me know down below when there's a soap sale because there's some really cool ones and I need some more summer ones by the way here is the wellness collection this is my like second time seeing it in person it's been a while since I've been in store but this she's looking fine she's looking great and look at here um to the right of me I'm swinging in right now the hyaluronic acid one and I saw like a Instagram thing like some places had the rose hip flavor and like this colloidal oatmeal one um let me know if you guys have tried those because that they have that in my store now and this is the old packaging of Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower from last year Hmm. and also look here there's bali black coconut sands i was like wait what why do they have this like they have a lot too and they also have the waikiki beach coconut in the old packaging as well so it was kind of suspicious to me and also the soap looks really pretty let me know if you guys have tried bath and body Works soap because they actually had some now and i was going to film it but the security guard was like no you can't film anymore so i was like okay fine so next time if i get into the store i'll show you guys the bar soap but that yeah there was some old packaging cool fresh fun hip and here are the scent notes to black bali black coconut scents if you're interested you can pause there and she smells like coconut milk so if you have like the coconut collection and i have that coconut one it kind of gives me that type of vibe but it has a little bit more of like a coconut sunscreen 
yeah I, in that way it smelled really good i would have bought it but i didn't because i already have coconut lined up for me to use and i'm i'm not like a huge fan of coconut i'm still trying to like it but yeah that's the one i have right there so yeah i should have bought it though yeah i should have anyway this is pretty as a peach new packaging a lot of you guys have been telling me what i thought about the scent it's not my favorite scent i would say it's an everyday type of scent but it's just it's not strong enough okay and here is the new at the beach scent i never talk about at the beach and it's because i don't like it i sniffed it again i was like come on Catherine, let's like it let's like it and i like yeah no i don't like it but the packaging's really pretty look at the little sparkle bedazzle jam thing like bam bam pop you know i like it that's even that's the that's the body cream and it's just so pretty like tell me about it please tell me about it and this is the sea salt spray hair mist let me know that down below if you guys are getting this because i don't know why every time i try to use like a sea salt hair mist i don't think i'm doing it right do you supposed to scrunch it up i don't know i'm mm, i don't know but midsummer dream she the packaging so beautiful this little light ombre effect from orange to blue that's a body mousse tell me down below oh sorry what's the body mousse for what's the intention of it what's the purpose i think it's like a cool gimmick thing but like you know we're going on ahead okay so these bars these soap soap dispenser things are so pretty the board vanilla board, boardwalk vanilla cone right that one's called my name so the next time they have a soap show, I think I'm gonna participate and buy just a couple. I know they have they've been doing them for like $3.95. Hopefully I can do that because that's like that's like really fun. I do know during semi-annual sale though they have them for like a dollar eighty. But yep, that's what's going on. Now we have the red, white, and fun collection. This one screams Patriot. Like, if you are a patriot to America, you're going to also love Always Wins. I love this one. This is actually in the candle section. Like, have you guys noticed that? That the, the body care for this collection is in the candle area as well. It's like, it's not in the same as in the other ones. So I feel like people bypass it. I don't know. But the packaging is really pretty. But I don't really like Sun Wash Citrus as much i feel like they should have made like their own scent so this could be like a limited edition like cool forever scent but yeah i love it though it's a really pretty package though it's simple it has a rainbow color really cute and i don't know why but this a thousand wishes shower gel has was calling my name for some reason like it's so pretty like they made it an aesthetic for me i don't know but perfect peony i don't mm, i'm trying to like it every time i go into the store i'll sniff it but it just smells like a dull flower for me and then also rose too or rose do you call it rose or rose i don't know but that's that's my life right there guys just mm. i i want to love florals to the point where i can just get a scent that's just called rose or perfect peony but i can't but here's the new packaging of sweet pea look at her i love it so much more than the old one it just has a little bit more updated version of it this is the faucet collection they're updating it. i'm curious if they're going to add anything else in that collection now we're going on into the hand sanitizers there are so many hand sanitizers they are back in stock and they are in full effect so i don't think that i need to worry about like not running out of it especially at my store let me know down below if your stores are still out of stock but look at this cotton candy clouds one so pretty um i wish they did a little bit more than the tie-dye effect but pause if you need to see the hand sanitizers you guys my eyes are very very bad so i can't read them all perfectly for you guys as i'm staring at this tiny screen but yeah, you guys, there's just so many types. And then we have some citrus ones, some rose ones, some of the aromatherapy ones. This one right here, if you have a friend or a person in your life that's not nice, just give it to them, like shadiness, you know? And that one's really cute too, the new big pumps. I don't know how they made it blue, but it's so pretty as a blue. And this big shop collection at my store, there is so much of raspberry jam donut, strawberry pound cake, and a little bit of coconut cream pie. At my other stores, they were like low running low, so I'm so excited. I don't know if voiceover Catherine said anything, but the main reason why I really went to Bath & Body Works was to get my free rewards and also some exchanges. This bag is actually really heavy, and I really want to get the coconut shea oil but my store didn't have it anymore like i think it's like sold out completely i feel like they realized that oh my goodness this is probably a hot commodity if you do have the shea oil though let me know down below how it works because i've been dying to get my hands on it but it's okay i was late though but i'm gonna show you guys what i got little haul for you guys bonus tip if you guys are still watching i feel like some of you guys like skip on ahead that's okay like just do you boo so for the free gifts i ended up getting the aromatherapy new guava and orange energy scrub Ooh, 
she's looking fine and i didn't know this was new i was actually trying to redeem my free reward online i had to pay ten dollars shipping and i don't want to pay ten dollars shipping just for a scrub this one is liquidy because i just spilled it all over my legs i actually opened it beforehand so i could show you guys and i'm going to be honest it was actually really liquidy beforehand too and i actually put it in my freezer because i had the other aromatherapy one i'll just show you guys right now i have this one which i love to death i guess the formula is different this is the aromatherapy relaxing seaside breeze and this is like the best scent from that ocean essentials collection it smells so good it's like this really beautiful teal color hopefully you guys can see beautifully yep but i think the formula is different because this one's really thin I don't like greasy things and it's all over my hands so it's really oily too I this is what I was not expecting yep now I feel like this is gonna be super messy in the shower well from a first impression if you want this guava and orange energy sea salt body scrub just know that this formula is probably not the same as this one and I thought it was going to be because I love the formula for this one a lot. But this one's like oily. Oh, I'm not happy now. I feel like this one wasn't like mixed together. Okay, because here's the thing. I assumed that this was like kind of thick, like a thinner consistency because I just brought it out. Like they were just like restocking things in the store. Normally with these body scrubs, it comes in like a foil like that, right? But silly me, I really thought, well, it does smell good. I will say it's like a citrusy, fruity type of scent, so I will give you guys an update on how I feel about the formula and see if it's the same as this one because this one is the best. I was not a big fan of salt scrubs until I tried this one, so this one gets like negative three points because it was like an inconvenience of opening it and then it's like all the oils falling out, you know? I feel like they should have mixed it more, but maybe it's just like the formula of it. Well, this video is just getting out of hand already, so let's move on to what else I ended up getting. Now, a lot of you guys have been telling me that this product right here smells like a avocado smoothie, and this is the Wellness Collection Avocado Extract Comforting, Moisturizing, Replenishing Body Lotion. And I also have the pomegranate one too, and I wanted to get this one to try it out. I know in some Asian cultures, they eat avocados with like sugar or like they'll blend it in and make like a little smoothie. Think of it as like, okay, like a banana smoothie, but like avocado, okay? Think of it like that. And this, you guys, literally smells like my childhood, like an avocado smoothie, but it also has like some type of like spa essence as well. Mm, it smells so good. So if you were growing up and you had avocado and sugar or, you, or the person that raised you made avocado smoothies and they put like condensed milk in it, this is what it smells like. Not like a super strong sugary scent at all, no, but like this is like the closest to it is and I like this. I'm really excited. And also you guys saw that my store also has like the lotions with a little pump. I should honestly ask the people that work there if I could get the pumps and bring it home so I could use it for mine because you know like how sometimes like it just gets annoying pour it out like this or like your hands get cramped you're just like ugh so you just rather just like pump it out I should see and ask that might be a weird, weird request they probably will say no though next up I ended up getting the lotion and denim and daisies and this is a new scent that they recently released and this is in the red white and fun collection with firecracker pop and bonfire bash and this has sweet daisies sun washed denim and summer citrus and I thought getting this in the lotion would be so like refreshing to have it's like a nice sweet floral it's not like too overbearingly floral so if you like sweet florals you're going to really enjoy this one right here i'm starting to transition into getting the lotions rather than the body creams just because i know they have a longer shelf life and a lot of you guys always ask me how long the body creams last people will say they last from two to three years but with my experience i had one that i bought like in july and then i try to use it in february and it turned already so like make it make sense it, it was made in 2020 so it only lasted a year which kind of sucked but i did buy it in the middle so make sure you check your body creams because you don't want to buy really old products anyways this is a really fun scent i really like the packaging too it has little little flag ribbons like a little party the last lotion i ended up getting i exchanged this one for forever red i had too many forever red body lotions so i was just like yeah i don't need too many forever reds this one is actually cactus blossom and look how beautiful it is the faucetic collection and there's no scent notes back here i don't know why they did that but i mean it's really pretty to see look at it glowing 
And this one right here smells so good. I honestly, when I first smelled Cactus Blossom, I didn't like it at all, you guys. I despised it. But then during semi-annual sale, I bought the moisturizing body wash in it. And my roommate actually really likes that scent too. I actually got him a moisturizing body wash and also a shower gel on it. I don't think he's used it up yet. Maybe he has. But it's in his shower. And it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Like a really refreshing floral. It's sweet. It's not too harsh. I like it a lot. And then we're going to the Fine Fragrance Mist. This one right here, I just got out of a whim because I just felt like if I was going to have one coconut scent in my life, it would probably be this one. And this is none other than Coconut Cream Pie. She is so good. I had to get a backup of her because I guess another hint, hint, this is going to be a part of my summer project use it up, which I'm really excited for. This has toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. So I wanted to have a backup just in case I ever finished it. So this one's just a delicious gourmand type of Christmas cookies. If you tried Christmas cookies back in the winter time, you're going to love this one. This is like the coconut version of it. So good. I also wanted to get the Bonfire Bash lotion, but I ended up getting the Denim and Daisies one just because the coloring of Bonfire Bash lotion looked very brown, like a light caramel brown. And I know it's probably because of like the vanilla coloring in it, but it just didn't look appealing to me. So I was just like, if I see it at my annual sale, I'll probably get it because I love Bonfire Bash. It's an amazing, like almost like a vanilla bourbon type of scent, marshmallow bourbon. That's all I'll say. Very musky. I wanted to get it really badly, but I didn't get it because it just looked really unappealing in the store. So that's why I got Denim and Daisies. But the last two things I got, I also got the Cactus Blossom Fine Fragrance Mist because now I love Cactus Blossom. This has cactus flower petals, sun-kissed coconut, and fresh sparkling lemon. This actually doesn't have like a strong coconut scent at all. I get more like the citrus floral. Oh my gosh, if you love citrus scents and you love floral scents, you're gonna like Cactus Blossom. This is really fun, okay? And it's like a very hot pink, hot pink type of mist, okay? And lastly, I had to get this one because this is like the middle school OG scent that my boyfriend actually told me because I showed him this previously. He's like, this is what every kid uses when they're in middle school. And I was like, bro, what? I was like, yeah, actually, my sister's friend had this and she sprayed it for me when I was like in a talent show. And I was like, yep, I remember the scent. So this is none other than the new packaging of Sweet Pea. It's so beautiful! Like, honestly, I don't think I can do it justice by showing it to you guys on camera, but if you see it in real life, you are going to think, wow, this is so much better than the old packaging, just in my opinion. The flower right there, the metallic packaging, who is she? Go ahead, girl, spin around. Spin around town. And the notes in this are sweet pea, watery pear, sheer freesia, luscious raspberry, and soft musk. So iconic. I can smell the raspberry. More alcoholy too. This is legit my childhood. You're either wearing sweet pea, cashmere glow, or twilight woods. It was like one of those three. So I had to get it just because of nostalgic purposes. This was my sixth grade talent show. I can't believe they've had this scent for so long. But yeah, that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Bath and Body Works walkthrough and haul video. This was really fun. I cannot wait to go back into the store for a semi-annual sale in June. You guys will be seeing me there all the time. Let me know down below what you guys want to know for a semi-annual sale coming up in less than three weeks. This is crazy. And if there's anything that you guys want to hear from me and like any questions, I will answer them into like a SAS like question and answer thing. That'd be cool. Or I'll just like give like tips. Like what's your tip on this? Or what's your tip on that? I would love to know down below what you're curious on. I Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.